We have here a pile of rusty, ooh, that's heavy, scrap iron. We're gonna try to make a chicken. I think I'm gonna make a chicken, which you're gonna try. I'm not no yard art master. That's gonna be the base. I can picture a couple of legs sticking up. This shovel for his back might seem a little out of balance. We need to come up with a head, a head and a tail. That might be too thin, but that might be good enough to make his legs with. Maybe one of these old rusty pitchforks can make a tail. Or this tater rake. We'll concentrate on the head later. Just an idea I'm tinkering with, kind of a, a yard art type thing. I don't know, them legs ain't gonna fit quite in that shovel. Thinking right about there for his head. We're gonna have to come up with some feet. The chicken needs some feet. Well, I've decided this pipe is not really heavy enough for chicken legs. I don't think it'll hold up on a more permanent basis of what I want to design. So I got this axle here. Go find my tape measure and measure off a couple of exact length. I believe that'll make me some excellent chicken legs. Let's put a sanding disc on our grinder. This foundation, it was laying out there by my boat house. Don't even remember what it came off of. It is one heavy hunk of iron. All right, every self-respecting chicken needs some feet. We're going to use these lag bolts for chicken feet. I'm going to cut the heads off. Separate them by like that, weld them together. Voila, chicken feet. Shape. I'm not going to do any more this afternoon. At the beginnings of his body, he's got some feet down here. Got to be careful, they're still hot. Mounted to one heck of a foundation. My chicken needs a head. And a tail. And a good coat of sand in the painting. Does it look like a chicken yet? That's going to be one of them left-handed mechanical chickens. It's going to be all for today, my friends. The beginning of a chicken.